I think generally pre-lockdown, um, if you're wanting to get into the industry, whether you're regardless of the career path, I think you just have to get your face out there mm. because building and forming friendships is really important. So kind of get yourself to the right gigs, get yourself to events like ours, you know, and just, you know, be on social media, be active. I you think it's, uh, people. Yeah. And, you know, accessing anything you can access, like we're saying, you know, from our events, you've got the seminar, you've got live, you've got music surgeries, focus groups. They're great places to network with like-minded people. They are your peer group. They are kind of the next generation of the music industry. Mm. So I would say just try and get to as many places, get your face seen. That's what I would say. That's brilliant. Thank you. That's really good. How about you, Nikki? Um, pretty much what Andrea said, I think it's about being around like-minded people, um, also knowing how to treat yourself like you're the product. Mm. You know, you have to treat yourself as a product, create that brand, know what your brand is, know what the outward goal is, and then you know where to go next. If you haven't got an objective, it's going to be very hard to find the right place to be. Mm. Uh, so I'd say understand what you're trying to do first of all. Um, be prepared or, you know, have something to bring to the table. If you meet someone and, and you have nothing about you or nothing to show you're doing, then how can someone take you on? Mm. Uh, you know, so for example, yes, we do do a lot, we also work with a lot of people that want to work behind the scenes, you know, A&R, working in law, working in marketing, and we've put on events to support that pre-COVID and, you know, you'd, they'd come and they would have their CVs or they'd have examples or they'd have their show, whatever they need to have to bring to they're going to speak to. While we're in lockdown, um, okay, there's, there's a new initiative now, people are getting used to Zoom, people are doing interviews on social media. There's a lot of um, platforms that you can come, that you can join and be a community in, i.e., as crazy as it sounds, LinkedIn. Mm. You know, there's all these tools that are out there that you should need to be aware of. And also these tools will take you from being within the UK to being international. Mm. And that's the big thing I think about being in lockdown. It's actually forced people to get exposure outside of their local community because everyone's looking at social media. You know, um, I see people that are just sitting in their rooms, sing a great song, but they're getting comments from someone that's in Australia. <laughs> so, you know, it's about... It's it's like, yeah, and using things like Instagram Live. Yeah. There we go, you know, yeah. The whole world is tuning in. You know, we started doing that during lockdown too. We do music business on lock, and we do that every Monday and Thursday. And people that come in are from like Mexico, Canada, France, all over the world. And um, it's just, I think in a way, it's a good time to be able to access more information like that and to build that. You can even see who's coming up, you know, who's talking. If someone's interesting, you can check them out, you know, mm. maybe follow them and message them. I still believe in building sideways. I think it's really important. Build your network sideways. It's so but it's good. even like, is it just so just cutting there? It's even like if you're on a Zoom call like this, now we've got our main point of vision behind us. Mm. If you're an artist and you want someone to know you, because you might get that, you know, to speak, put your hashtag on there, put mm. your Instagram tag, put wherever it is to get yourself known. So it's like said, being creative in these times. You're going to have to find a different way to network because you can't see someone face to face. So you've got to work out how to see someone virtual and, mm. and what makes someone come look at you virtually. 